Welcome back to Arlington, Texas. 5.25 to go in the second quarter. Philadelphia needs something big here from their own 39 on a third down and long. McDonald, the main in motion, back to throw. Cunningham looks picked off. That is Sean Lee on the return, and he is taken down immediately. Deshaun Jackson to bring him down, and the Cowboys force the first uh, interception of the game. And Cunningham with his fourth INT of the season. The Eagles have to go back on defense. Well, now you know why they measure vertical jumps for the linebackers. There, Sean Lee gets all the way up there, and he grabs the football out of that quick slant. And he really should have put a little more air under it because he knows that his intended receiver is extremely tall, 6'8", I believe. Yeah, that's Harold Carmichael, the intended receiver. After a three-yard pickup, the Cowboys are on the move already in Eagles territory. Boy, they are just living on this side of the field, Philadelphia needs to make a play. They need to make a stand here. And boy, in the second quarter, already the Cowboys racking up 85 yards of offense. And right now for Dallas, things rolling on all cylinders on a second and seven. Uh, but they need some more yardage to get into field goal range. But they're looking for a touchdown to try and ice this thing in the first half. Here's Stahl back to throw. Looking underneath, incomplete pass. Alvin Harper, the intended receiver, covered by Stuart Bradley. It's incomplete. Third down. Well, for this third down situation, um, they need to get in the field goal range so that Nick Folk could get right there because I believe he has a powerful leg. Because remember back all the way in 2007 against the Buffalo Bills on Monday night, he kicked a powerful one and it went through. Nick Folk certainly can hit it from this long, but as the Cowboys, do you want to risk that this early? Alvin Harper complete, short of the first down, and now it's fourth down and five. Decision time for Dallas on a fourth down and five. This would be a 38-yard field goal attempt, or do you just send out the punting unit after having solid field goal position? It's actually a 55-yard field goal attempt, but you know what? Oh, they're actually going to come out and punt this one. It's Matt McGuire. Uh, powerful punter, but let's see what he does on this play. End over end kick, and that one going through the end zone, and that will be a touchback, touchback territory. Game break here for Jason Hirsch. You know, go back to CB Studios in New York. The Broncos at the Bills. John Elway, a nice touchdown. As the Bills try to win the AFC East today, the Broncos are going to get up a fight, though. 14 6 Broncos in the second quarter. Back to Dallas. Thanks, Jason, and welcome back to Arlington. Four minutes remaining in the second quarter. Cunningham back to work, and it's another handoff. This is LaShawn McCoy. They're down to their uh, third string running back. They have McCoy and Staley in the lineup, and after that, boy, what do you have at the running back position? Uh, certainly, Philadelphia would like to have uh, Wilbert Montgomery back onto the field. Uh, what do you, you know, Noel? How is this offense going to counter? It's second down and seven right now. They go back to four receivers as they seemingly have very little faith in this offensive you know, running game right now. Back to throw, five-step drop. Cunningham complete to Sean Jackson, breaks a tackle across the 40. Taken down after a 17-yard pickup to Sean Jackson for a pickup of a big 17 and the longest play for Philly in the first half. Uh, goes for a big first down. Oh, well, now this offense is on the move. Pickup of 17. Oh, we finally see Deshaun Jackson get into the game. A really nice throw right there. And Deion Sanders is left with the responsibility as he's trying to play the flat. But, and he tries to make the tackle, but the defense is actually just so slippery he just gets away. First down and 10. Cunningham complete to Harold Carmichael. Pickup of six yards. And this tall receiver at six foot seven gains six yards. And as you mentioned, uh, boy, Deion Sanders had a big time attempt to bring down Deshaun Jackson. Uh, but the knock on this Hall of Famer was that he cannot tackle in the open field. We certainly saw it there. Second down and four after six yards on the gain. And back to the field is Harold Carmichael. And he'll take a five step drop and is dumped immediately. Boy, this offensive line. Uh, certainly crumbled under pressure. And we have Sean Lee down on the field. Another injury for the Cowboys uh, here as uh, after a big time loss on a sack, he gets hit in the upper part of the body. Big time injury there. We'll hope to have him back soon. He already has an interception in the game, Nick, but 
really? How will this injury affect the defense? Boy, certainly a question to be told as he is off the field now and the Cowboys defense responds without him. A fourth down br uh, brewing for the Eagles after a four yard pickup they'll have to send on the punting unit after this two minute break as the NFL on CBS has seen the Cowboys leading by seven at the two minute warning and Noel what to make uh, coming up at halftime we'll have more on Noel's thoughts on everything in the first half here but after this Dallas lead what has been the most imp impressive part of the Cowboys uh, seven to nothing score at this point I have to say the um I just say the the, uh, the offense of the Cowboys, they really came out there strong. They were all hyped up, and you saw it on the very first drive. They scored a nice touchdown on the screen player, Emmitt Smith. Uh, so far in this game, the Dallas Cowboys have been rolling on all cylinders. As you mentioned, Noel, a 37-yard strike for the touchdown. Emmitt Smith on that screen play, and things have gone from bad to worse for the Eagles. This offensive line has been terrible all game long. Three sacks given up in the first half alone. Uh, there has to be fixes to make up front about this defense. Uh, certainly the Cowboys are the elite, but they are just dominating up front. First and 10 from the 15, if the offense can take a, uh, control here, certainly it'll be a long day for Philly. Back to throw, Staubach is dumped on his own side of the field. That's Reggie White making his way into the game, a seven yard loss, it's now second down. Second and forever coming up for the Cowboys offense. They're backed up at the eight yard line, backs to the walls coming up for this next play, Nick. And really what I would like to see here Surprisingly, a halfback draw, you know, to get the defense off guard. Second down and 17, certainly a tough scenario for the offense as the clock is winding and they go to three tights. Perhaps a running play is the best call in this scenario. Don't want to have an early interception that will give Philly a chance to tie the game. They're winding the clock as well, down to 120 to play in the second quarter, and the Cowboys just looking to run this football. Uh, Dallas not traditionally known as a conservative franchise, but Emmett Smith taken down after a one-yard loss, not even back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, the Eagles certainly snuffing out that play, and Noel uh, on third down and 18. What is the best play call for this Dallas offense? I would just play it like how it, how it generally is, you know, a quick little pass down the middle, keep the clock moving. And if that doesn't work, then just out your punting. You know, there's no need to gamble or anything. You've got a nice little comfortable lead. But, however, they don't get the ball back for the second half. 108 to go first half. Staubach hand off to Dorsett. He has a crease up the middle. A pickup of eight yards, and Philly calls their next timeout. All right, so now it's fourth down from the 16-yard line. Dorsett picking up seven. And now it's the punting unit that has to come onto the field. The Eagles will get the ball with a little over a minute to play with one timeout. Deshaun Jackson from his own 28, the dangerous return man across the 35, unable to get past the first wave, and he's down on the field. He's injured, slow to get up the third injury in this first half. And now it's back to Philadelphia with injury concerns. After a big 17-yard pass play, how will the Eagles uh, at the receiving core make do without him? Well, <laughs> I don't know because he is an excellent wide receiver. And you know what? They've already got Brian Westbrook out. They've already got their big man, number 31. He's out as well. But let's see what happens. And another sack coming in from the Cowboys squad. Bob Lilly to bring him down. Loss of 10. Jeremy Macklin takes place of the injured Deshaun Jackson. Second out and 20 from the 40. Cunningham back to throw, underneath complete to Mike Quick, that's not going to get the first down. And the Eagles, not even in the hurry up, they're looking to go into halftime, trailing by seven with how bad the offense has played. Oh no, well, that's not exactly a stretch to say, that's not a, that's a pretty good call there for Andy Reid, uh, just going conservative here. Third down and long, and perhaps a running play is on tap as they go to I formation, two tight ends to the right side. Hand off to the left, LaShawn McCoy cut to the right and taken down by Bob Lilly at the line of scrimmage. The Dallas defense does its job. It's fourth down. Well, the Eagles, they're relying on their fourth, fourth string halfback because of the injury problems. 
But why not go to Deuce Daly? He's a pretty decent running back. Fourth down and long, and the Eagles are making do with LaShawn McCoy. He is Sav Rocca out for the punt. It looks to be taken at the 14-yard line. Dorsett out, shimmies past the 20, 30, 35. Trucks him in, carries him forward past the 41. Tony Dorsett, a 24-yard punt return. Certainly a big play that the Dallas Cowboys needed, but with seven seconds to go, uh, will Dallas even take a shot here? It might not be a bad call. They go to four wide, perhaps a deep ball coming. Staubach, he's got a man open. There's Terrell Owens. Boy, going deep, and Dallas delivers. Timeout with a second to go. Boy, the Cowboys get a big-time break, and of course, Nick Polk now is has a gimme shot to add to this Dallas lead. Great route ran by Terrell Owens. Ran right past the defense, and an excellent throw coming in from Roger Staubach right through the triple coverage and in the field goal range so we get to see Nick Folk take the kick. Folk for the kick, 45 yard attempt, that is right down Broadway and the Dallas Cowboys add to their lead. It's 10 to nothing on the NFL on CBS. A halftime report is coming up right after this commercial break as the Eagles have a lot of work on tap. They do get the second half kickoff and Noel Booker and Nick Rice will be back to give you second half action after this commercial break. Here's the halftime report. We'll see you back for second half. Welcome to the halftime report. Here's Nick Rice along with Noel Booker. We'll give you the halftime highlights along with everything to go around the DSFL. And we'll start off with a big a matchup here as the winner maintains hold of the NFC East and the Cowboys certainly getting things done early. Noel, it's Alvin Harper getting a quick 11 and then Emmett Smith for a long touchdown. Well, on this play, everything just went the right way. They went with a quick screen. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown, but they get it anyway. Emmett Smith, boy, when you're untouched for 37 yards, certainly not what the Philadelphia Eagles wanted on defense and on offense. Everything going backwards for the Philadelphia squad. Traw Thomas giving up the first of four sacks on the day. And here's the first interception of Randall Cunningham. Uh, no, well, nothing going right for Philadelphia in the first half offensively. Well, of course not. They, he needs his offensive line to be productive, and they're not struggling out, so that means he's under pressure, which means he can't make smart plays. Staubach, though, you know, complete to Alvin Harper, but that's not going to get the first down. Cowboys have to punt. Here's the Philadelphia squad on a second and seven, but this is a big play and the only offensive play that the Eagles really had. 17 yards to Deshaun Jackson. His injury status is unknown. He'll perhaps be back in the second half. Uh, but LaShawn McCoy is taken down short of the first down and it goes back to the Cowboys and you know the story. With seven seconds to go, Owens gets his first catch of the afternoon, a big catch and then a field goal attempt in the well uh, for the Eagles. Lucky to only be trailing by 10 points as a slanted of a first half as you can imagine with only 37 yards, Noel, of total offense. Well, yeah, right now the Eagles, they have got to get it together to get the ball first. Can't wait to see what's going to happen in the second half. Second half action after this commercial break. You're watching the NFL on CBS. In week 16 of the DSFL 2, there are plenty of matchups that are key in determining the playoffs here in the dream season, but none bigger in Lambeau Field as the Bears and the Packers face off to determine the best team in the NFC North. Now the Packers are already clinched for the playoffs at an 11-3 mark, but the Bears are right behind them at 10-4. It can certainly make hay in that division, but they will have a tall order on their hands as Aaron Rodgers is considered the best single caller in football. He leads the Packers, and as for the Bears, they can stop them with their defense ranked second in the DSFL. But on the Bears' side, as for running the football, everything has been great. Walter Payton, second in the National Football League in rushing yards and also has the most rushing touchdowns in the National Football League. A tough test for the Packers, even though they rank number one in the National Football League against the run. That counters the number 10 Bears in that category.
In this game, it'll come down to the play of Sid Luckman, the quarterback. The Bears single caller is right in the middle of the pack in most passing statistics. And the Bears will need a lot of points to counter the Green Bay offensive attack. They'll be rolling on all cylinders in this contest. Week 16 promises to be an exciting week, including second half action of the Cowboys and Eagles after this.